didn't you just tell me that you was going F, you was going to kill me? Turn around and die. Girl, shit just got crazy. Make sure you keep my location. You keep looking at this shit. I'm going to text you in. If I don't text you in 30 minutes, then call the police. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody now, sing now, that shit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay. Y'all know me, y'all know the girl, and if you don't, what's up, what's up, what's poppin'? It's Tay Cakes in the building, and welcome to my channel. So, as you read from the title, I will be telling you guys about my Tinder date horror story, aka the time my Tinder date ended up being a psychopath. <laughs> So if y'all don't already know, I'm in a relationship right now. I have been in a relationship for three plus years, but this was back in my whole day because as everybody knows, Tinder is nothing but, you're not going on Tinder to meet the love of your life. We just gonna say that. It was the hookup, it's a hookup app. If you're looking, going on Tinder to look for the love of your life, you're gonna be highly disappointed, baby. Baby, they're gonna make you mad. They're gonna make you angry. Now, the makers of Tinder were probably not like, hey, I have an idea, let's make a app. But, Sweetie, that's what happened. Basically, this was back in my hookup at day. Anyway, let's see if I can remember this story. This was a while ago. I can't remember it, but I just want to remember it. Y'all know I'm pretty good at telling stories, but I'm trying to remember most of the details. I was using my Tinder app. Um, it was not my first time on the Epity app. I had used it a couple times before. So I started texting this dude on Tinder. We're gonna say his name is um Demarcus. We're gonna call him Demarcus. Go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. Go. In his profile picture, he said he was, he looked fine. He was a chocolate fellow, smile on fleek. His bio said he was like 6'5", girl. And you know, I'm 5'10", so I'm like 6'5". You 6'5"? Okay. That was enough for me. I showed him to my friends. My sis like, yeah, girl, he cute, boo, 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 boo. Boom. We were texting for like a week. And then he asked me out on a date. But it was a date date, like a walk in a park date. So I'm like... Okay, I'm not, I wasn't like a super hoe, like, I swear. Okay, I might cut that out. If I ended up cutting it out, y'all not even gonna know what I said. We had been talking for like a week, and then we were real flip floppy with the dates, cause you know, I worked three jobs at the time, and it was a lot, and he had a job in school. It was just a lot. So we set a date, and I was supposed to go to this park. Now, sweetie, I've, I've had a bad experience when it came to somebody picking me up for a date. So I meet, I meet people at eight. It's like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna pick you up. I said, no. I said, I drive. I'll meet you there, sweetie. I'll meet you there. I met him there, um, and it was a nice park. I meet him. He looked everything like he looked in his profile pictures, sis. Fine, chocolate. I said, go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. We're off to a good start, people. We're off to a great start. When he meets me there, he's like real nervous, and you know, there's nothing wrong with being nervous, but it's, he got like sweaty palm. You can always sense if someone is nervous, but typically it's a, at least you try to hide your nerves. He was real like shaky and all that. I'm like, hey Demarcus, how you doing? It's Taylor. We've been talking for like two weeks. It's okay, sweetie, it's okay, we fine. So we break the ice, walk through the park, mind you, to all my ladies out there, make sure you have family or friends who have your location wherever you at. My best friend had my location and she texted me. She was like, B. Are you good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. She said, okay, your lake location said you was at in, in a lake. She had to make sure I wasn't in the bottom of the lake because she knew I was going on a date. But it was just a lake at the park. Like my body wasn't at the bottom of the lake, but it could have ended up there. So Demarcus gets to talking and he starts getting real personal. Like, you know, you, you talk about yourself on a date, but most people try to paint themselves up on the first date. So he was talking about how he was stressed and I'm like, why are you stressed? He was like, you know, I'm stuck at this dead end job right now while I'm in school. It's kind of been hard for me to get hired certain places because of my record. You know what? I was like, oh, your record. Now, it wasn't, the sad part of it is that it wasn't an immediate like turn off of me. Cause I'm from Baltimore, most of the niggas I'm mess, I'm messing with, they got something on the record like, you did something. So I'm thinking like a drug charge, uh, this sounds really bad. Not to say that was excusable, but I'm just like, you know, I'm thinking of the basic stuff. You feel me, the basic stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay, like if you don't mind me asking, like, you know, what happened? <sighs> Girl, he said, <laughs> oh, just a little domestic violence charge. Excuse me, 
said, oh, it's just a little um, domestic violence charge. I said, Demarcus. I said, the final domestic violence charge, like, well, what happened? He was like, oh, no, my ex, we had got into it and we got the tussling and da 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 da. In my mind, like I said, he looks exactly like he looks in his profile picture and all of his bio was correct. He's six foot five, sweetie. I'm looking up at him. He's six foot five. In my head, I'm like, how much of a tussle could it have been? Because I know if we got into a tussle right now, you would beat my ass. So it would not be a tussle. It would be just you beating my ass. So at that point, I text my sis. I'm like, girl, shit just got crazy. Make sure you keep my location. You keep looking at this shit. I'm going to text you in. If I don't text you in 30 minutes, then call the police. And he like, oh, no, I know that can kind of be off-putting, but I try to be upfront as I can. Like, that's the only situation i ever been in. And a woo, 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 woo. I said, oh, you know, trying to play it cool like I ain't scared. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. And we started walking in like a, a area that had less people in it. And it was a food truck in like the courtyard area where there was more people. I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. Like, why don't we just go get some food? This Negro pulls me in. I don't know if he thought this was a moment or something. And he pulls me in for a kiss. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you how awkward this was. I mean, this DeMarcus. Wait, this DeMarcus. So DeMarcus sit right here, this me. Oh yeah, I'm looking over here, I'm like, oh yeah. Um, let me make sure I get the arm, hold on. I'm like, oh yeah, maybe we should go and get some food in the park. I'm kinda hungry. I turn around, his arm went. He goes on my list is the worst kiss I probably ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, maybe we should go get some food or something. I don't know. Oh. Oh, surprise, surprise. Okay. Well, I, I still want to go get some food. So, can we... Can we... Can we, can we, can we just, can we just go, get, go get some food, please? Yeah, so at this point, I just feel violated and disgusted. Like, it was not even smooth. So that's not where it gets crazy, right? On the way to the food truck, Sam, I text my sis, and I'm like, yo, call me like something. Like, I gotta go do something. You know, y'all know the, the good old, good old, so you can get out of there. So we get to the food truck, stand, and he like, what do you want? So I'm like, hmm, what do I want? So my dumb ass at the food truck, stand, trying to act like I'm contemplating what I want. But in reality, all they had was hot dogs and pretzels, so I only had two options. But you know, he probably didn't question it because you know how men think that we so indecisive. So I'm sitting here like, hot dogs or pretzel? And in my head I'm like, best friend, please, please call me, hurry and call me, I already know, I don't want nothing from this stir. I'm just trying to hold it up. So I'm over here acting like I can't choose between a pretzel and a hot dog. So finally, she saves the day. Here go me. Hello? What? Oh my gosh, is she okay? Here go Demarcus. Is everything good? Here go me. Yeah, yeah, just give me a second. Okay, well tell them to wait right there and then I'll be on my... Oh no, I'm out right now. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You know it's never, you know it's never a bother. So I'm making up, I'm putting on this show. They need to give me an award for the performance I put on. Here's where I realized he crazy. So I'm like, oh my gosh, my friend is going through something to Marcus. I gotta go. I hope we can hang out another time. He's like, my car can probably get you there faster. Do you want me to take you wherever you gotta go? Two plus two equals four. I got a car already parked here and I can drive my black ass there myself. So why the hell would I have you drive me to only have to come back and get my car late at night with your crazy ass? Because then when I drive there and you realize I was lying, you're probably gonna kill me and beat my ass just like you did your ex. So I'm like, oh no, Demarcus, it's okay, honey. Like I drove here, remember, I'm good. So as he continues to pry and ask for questions, he's like, man, all that domestic violence shit didn't uh, scare you off, did it? No, 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 no. I understand. Like, I don't even know the whole story for real. I can't judge you off that. I'm not that type of girl. Oh, alright. I was just making sure for real because in the past, I done dealt with some girls. I had to get them in check real quick because you're not about to judge me on some shit that I, that I decided to confide in you about. You feel me? Yeah, Demarcus, I feel you. I'm, I'm, I feel, I, I feel, I feel you. Because I, I, if anybody feel you, I but can I go to my friend, please? Cause she like really in imaginary danger to Marcus. Like I gotta go. Why would you ask me that? You know that domestic violence stuff got me crazy. You know I'm, you know I'm scared. I don't wanna be next. 
I don't want to be the next reason you can't get a job, Demarcus. Of course I'm judging you. Of course, that is not something you tell me on the first date. You should have took that to the grave. Did the domestic violence shit scare me off? Hell yeah, it scared me off. Thinking I was ready to be the next story. And maybe you, it, it might not have been domestic violence charge. I might have been a murder charge. I might have been the one that, 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 only got you a job serving soup in the, in the jail, so. But he didn't let me go with the excuse, really. It was like a, so your, your friend, your friend in trouble or something? I'm like, yeah, Demarcus, she in trouble. Oh, like, like what's going on? I don't really want to talk about it. It's her personal business, but you know, she really need me to be there. I mean, she know you kind of far, like she ain't got nobody else she can go. No, Demarcus. She don't. I mean, I guess if you gotta go. Yes, Demarcus, I gotta go. My friend is in imaginary danger, sir. Like, please, let me go tend to my friend. He like, yeah, well, let me walk you to your car. Oh, no, it's fine, Demarcus. Like, we both drove separate. You, won't, you don't gotta do all that. Oh, I'm gonna be a gentleman. No, you really don't gotta do all that, Demarcus. I'm okay. So, as I go to my car, I'm gonna tell you something. As I'm going to my car, car i'm like running like i'm like rushing really fast because his car was kind of parked near mine and i heard oh my gosh I can't i've heard too many horror stories of car situations sex traffic all that so i'm speed walking to my car i'm going to the car like I'm doing that walk that's kind of like, don't make it look like you scared, but get to your car fast kind of walk, that kind of walk. My car door was a little finicky. I had a 98 Accord at the time, the Accord at the time. So I'm slamming my door shut. He knocking on the door like, the window on the other side. I'm like, oh, nigga. And I'm like, Lord, do I roll the window down or do I pull off? There go my dumb ass. Marcus, like, are you okay? What's up? Oh no, I just want to make sure you got to your car okay. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. In my head, I'm like, your car is right there. You saw me get in the car. So he like leaning in my car door like this. And I'm like, all right, well, my friend need me, so I'ma go. He got aggressive. It went from, oh, okay, all right. He's, I'ma see you again, right? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you gonna see me. Yeah, the mic is you gonna see me. Oh, all right, I better see you again because you know what I'm saying? I don't want stuff to get crazy. Aha, 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 the mic is you crazy, the mic is you crazy. You really crazy. All right, I'm gonna go to my friend's house. Mind you, I told him something was going I didn't get in specifics, but I made him seem like it was urgent. He didn't give a damn. So he like, all right, I guess I gotta let you go now. I'm like, all right, Demarcus, I gotta go. My friend is in trouble. He's like, all right, all right, I'm, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I rolled my window up, and I, when I tell y'all, I skirted off. I said, skirt. Sis, I had my music on. I had to make sure. The reason I skirted off so fast because mentally I was like, yo, this nigga could follow me. So I looked at his. I took a picture of that license plate of his. And I was just looking my rear view the whole time, making sure it wasn't nobody trailing behind me. And I got home, but it didn't end there. So I think I'm scot-free. I leave, he continues to text me. He was like, had an amazing night. It was the best kiss of my life. What kind of bitches you kissing? Because that was the worst kiss of my life. He was like, that was the best kiss of my life. Oh my gosh, and I blah, 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 just a blah, 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 blah. He must have really just wanted some pussy or something. I don't know what it was that he wanted, but it had me some ass the way he was gassing me up. Cause I was like, that kiss was, was awkward, sloppy, and a mess. I don't know what you doing. So a long time goes by, I don't hear from him. He texts me. Um, maybe a week later when I'm hanging out with, we having a little kickback at my friend, um, Caitlin's house. So we're at this kickback and he texts me and he's like, Hey, what are you up to? And I'm like, Oh, nothing. Just at a party with my friends. And he's like, Oh, I'm really trying to see you. Red. I read the message, left it alone. So I get drunk and while I get drunk, I leave my phone down. I'll come back after like five shots later. I look at my phone and he blew my phone up, y'all. I mean, I had like 20 messages, three missed calls, and I'm like, what the freak is going on? The messages are like, I know you see my text and boo, 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 boo. And I'm like, what? I haven't talked to you in a week. 
the, the date was awkward. Like, what are you doing? My friend is sick in the toilet. This is later in the night. And I accidentally called him. So as I call him, I'm so drunk that I'm actually talking to this nigga. Like, I, I don't know how out of it I was, but I'm actually conversing with him. And I'm like, hey, what you doing? And he's like, um, oh, nothing, just trying to see you and boo, 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 right? So as I'm tending to my friend, another friend at the party is like, oh, he's trying to, oh, I handed the phone because I was trying to hold her hair back while she threw up. So they had my phone, they're like, oh, he's trying to come. So me not thinking, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, 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 that's fine. Mind you, I wasn't even aware of stuff that was going on around me. When, when, I, I was, when I say I was drunk, I was drunk. So I just told them, yeah, and I don't even know what I just said yeah to. Because I had three different questions going on. Is she good in there? Oh, he trying to come in. All I said was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a shut up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess the, the address was sent at some point or whatever. I get my phone back. I'm having a conversation. He in the car. I'm like, oh, where you going? My phone dies, right? Mind you, I haven't put two and two together that he's in the car on the way to the house. Because yo from the party sent him the address and the, it was a whole thing. So, I'm just like, mm, me drunk. I'm like, yeah, okay, my phone died. So, I don't care that my phone died. I'm drunk with my friends. I ain't got nobody I need to be texting anyway. <sighs> Y'all, I fall asleep. I wake up the next day and my phone comes back on. He send me threats. My phone went on. When I turned my phone on, my phone went ding 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 notifications ding 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 the messages were death threats. He said he would beat my ass. Alright back to back and I remember these messages. The faithful line that me and my friends like to use to this day. And I'm at this point I'm hungover and I'm looking at my phone I'm like what's going on? He was like, I'll kill you. Where the fuck are you? I'm here. I took an Uber all the way out here. Pause. Let me give y'all a little perspective. I said, you took an Uber? He lives like 40 minutes from me, from where I was at the time. It wasn't me, I didn't live there. But 40 minutes from the location I was at at the time. You took an Uber? So he's like, I took a fucking Uber all the way down here. You're, I, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. You're, and this is the famous line, you're the pettiest bitch alive, and blah, 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 going in. He, he left me a voicemail. He was like, listen, I'm here, and I don't know if this was some kind of game or something. You would have thought, you would have thought that I killed this nigga's child or something, the way he was threatening me. He was like, you got me all the way fucked up when I see you with a rat. And I was like, my bad. And I was so petty for that, cause I could've just, but anyway, I just said, LOL, my bad. He texted me back, he replied and he was like, I'm so sorry, I don't know what I was on last night. I was just a little frustrated, but I would really love to take you out another time. I had a good time on our first date and we don't have to let this ruin what we, You was gonna kill me? Turn around and die. No, you said you was gonna F and kill me. And that I was the pettiest bitch alive. No. So after that, he texted me, I lied to you not every day for like a week. He sent me poems sometimes. Yeah, it was bad, but I wear the crown now. All my friends know me as the pettiest bitch alive, according to DeMarcus. Go DeMarcus, go DeMarcus. Long story short, that was the last Tinder meetup I had. Actually, I had one more after that. It was a good experience. We actually went on a nice date. It wasn't really a hookup, but you know, it's a good date. It's a nice dinner date. But, but after that, I don't use Tinder no more. So, so the lesson you can learn from here is tread lightly on Tinder because these niggas, Crazy. A word from Say Pancakes, period.
I wonder what DeMarcus doing this day. I can't believe that I even interacted with this man after he told me he had a domestic violence charge. Now, you know what was funny though, is I really, my this is my problem, I'm nosy. When he told me he had a domestic violence charge, I really wanted to know the details. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like what happened? And all he said was they got in a tussle. I'm like, no, 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 no. I need to know what happened because ain't no grown man need to be getting no tussle with no damn woman. And look at me, I was about to get in a damn tussle myself, a tussle with his hands or a gun the way he was talking. Thank you Lord for your coverage because I was a dummy. Now, mind you, this was years ago. So, you know, I've grown. I'm a little smarter than what I used to be. I used to be a little reckless. I was smart, I'm, I'm smarter. I would never do anything like that and none of you better ever do anything like that or I'll fight you myself. I'll get in a tussle with you myself or I'll call DeMarcus on you. Oh, that's bad. That's not a funny joke at all. No, he, he's a bad person. He's a psychopath. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the story. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay off the of Tinder. Bye!